Hello again. Um, World War II Royal Air Force aircraft reflector gun sight. Went through various marks over the years. Um, you could actually build up an entire collection of these, but it would cost an arm and leg. Some are more desirable than others, especially those fitted to Spitfires because of the romanticism of Spitfire, World War II, Battle of Britain, etc, etc. This one is a Mark III N. Um, it's a type that will be fitted to Lancaster bombers and Wellington bombers. And the idea is, as a standalone item like that, it's very difficult to get working because you need the aircraft's 24 volt electrical system in order to plug in a jack plug. And what you do is, it's composed of three separate parts. You've got the body, which is crackled metal and a kind of bakelite plastic. On off switch. Inside there you have the electrics and a bulb. This body here screws off to give access to the bulb inside. This bit here merely pops off. It comes off upright like that. Attached to it is a bevel piece of glass and in the top of there is another piece of glass down in there is a bulb and what happens is when it's plugged into there you've got the aircraft's 24 volt electrical supply plugged into there you can switch it on and off and if it's daytime you switch it to daytime if it's nighttime you switch it to nighttime and what that does, it activates, oop, that's supposed to be screwed on, but I've unscrewed it for the purpose of the video. What it does when you switch it on, we'll take that off. In there is a bulb attached to some electrics. When it's switched on, it lights that bulb up. And that bulb shines through there. And it puts an image on there. And what the image is... The image would be a yellow circle with a yellow dot in the middle of it. And your, your pilot or your gunner would look there. That would be on the, for want of a better word, in front of the windscreen of the aircraft. And it would look at that. It would illuminate on the screen a little target dot. As you were flying about, you would center it on the enemy aircraft, open fire, and hopefully your enemy aircraft will fall in the sheet of flame and splattered itself all over the ground. A reflector gun sight. Um, a lot of them will have data plates on them. And this one's got a nice RDF one. I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up. But what it says there, wait, focus. I don't know if it's going to, you know, this these self-focusing things. Oh, there we are. How about that? A Ministry, AM with the King's Crown. The reference number, reflect the gun sight, mark 3N. And the serial number. And below that, on here, some will have a plastic label reading, use 24 volt electrics or something similar to that. And again, inside there you have the electrical wiring. These, those blue and red switches come from the on-off switch, the night switch. You've got the bulb there. Then you have, if I can do this with one hand, we'll see if we can pop this off there. But that just, that just pulls off like that. And this quite heavy alloy bit has a knurled section there for turning. That's just for your finger grips. You have basically a magnifier in there, which magnifies the light. And that's screw threaded to screw thread into there. So that screws into there. I'm not going to tighten it up. And that's the bit that pushes over the top of it. Now, in later examples, this would be adjustable up and down, but those screws mean that that glass plate is actually fixed. It doesn't move, it's non-adjustable. So, quite an interesting item for the 
REF display cabinet as I'm going to get sorted. World War II Lancaster slash Wellington bomber day night reflector gun sight. Come on, focus. Yes, no. There we go. Reflect the gun sight. Is it going to focus? Is it going to focus? There we are. Reflect the gun sight. Mark 3N. And the serial number 3870 slash 43. So the slash 43 is 1943. And the good thing about it is anything REF has a reference number and all the reference numbers can be researched and it'll tell you exactly what it is. So there you go. Bye for now.